They're the newcomers, four members of the state assembly getting ready for their first term in the legislature. And among them is Marianne Buttonshawn. But as Ben Dennis shows us, as the new legislative year approaches, there's no fear on the Christmas tree farm. Marianne Buttonshawn will represent New York's 119th Assembly District. The Democrat and political newcomer shares her thoughts on issues that could come about in the upcoming legislative session. When it comes to recreational marijuana, Buttonshawn did not express her position, citing questions still need addressed on the issue. Is our goal to ensure that uh, individuals have that freedom? Or are we talking about increasing a tax base? What, what is the foundation of the legislation for this community? and how would the enforcement process. I think too many stakeholders need to be involved in the conversation in regards to, again, the importance of how this idea that has come forward, how it would actually be operational. Button Sean says another area of legislative action that could come up in the new year includes election reform. And she says it starts at the local level with absentee ballots. I think the first step would be looking at the absentee process. You know, right now it's, it's somewhat limited. You have to identify that you're not going to be in the county and there's specific reasons why. But uh, just to expand it in an extent that says absentee would be identified as the person that's asking it. I mean, each person has a rationale of why they're asking for that absentee. In a speech on Monday, Governor Cuomo outlined his priorities for the new year, including same day and early voting. Cuomo also called for longer gun purchase periods. That's something Buttonshawn says still needs discussed with involved agencies. Ensuring that law enforcement has the ability, if we're going to talk about um, a process that is slowed down, who is going to be involved in it and can it actually be operational? The state legislative session convenes on January 9th, 2019. In Utica, Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News, first at 10.